Great to have you join us on Art House. I'm Melinda Kinlami coming up on this week's episode. We enjoyed Double Delights beginning with this two man exhibition at the Art Pantheon Gallery. Then we move to Terra Culture for another show by two generations. But first, let's hear from our wordsmith who is encouraging everyone to smile. Our wordsmith for this week is titled Smile by Gabriel Lacanu. When the weather suits you not, try smiling. When your coffee isn't hot, try smiling. When your neighbors don't do right or your relatives all fight, soothe their plight and make the atmosphere light, try smiling. It doesn't change the course of things just by smiling, but it cannot make them worse just by smiling. Regardless, it will help your case as it brightens up a gloomy place. Then, it sort of rests your face just by smiling. You know what they say, you're never fully dressed without a smile. Now let's begin with this exhibition which features two people, very creative artists, at the Art Pantheon Gallery in Lagos. The beauty of identity, experience and friendship is presented in Me and Him, Two Sides of a Coin, which is themed for an art exhibition by explorative artists Timitayo Badru and Uluatusi Toromade at Art Pantheon Gallery in Lagos. Yeah, me I'm from Adekuta, he's from Modayeke, and we uh, graduated from Wabema Olowo University under the same lecturers. He specialized in painting, he specialized in textile. So we have different background, but 2008 we met and we continue our journey through art since then. Then 2019, he did his solo, I did my solo the same year too. So we just said, okay, let's come together and do a two-man show. Then we try to crack our head for title. We just said, okay, let's just break it down to me and him. Basically, this exhibition is about two people that finish from the same school, um, doing the same kind of art, but you know, different techniques, different mediums, because me does textile um, art, and then I do painting major. So basically, it's just uh, a collaboration of um, people that have got um, the same background, doing different things, basically. Both artists have quite a number of things in common. Regardless of those similarities, they hold their own as individual creatives toying with new ideas. Uh, I like to use pattern, I dread a pattern. I'm from Abekuta, so that's where I grew up. And Abekuta is known for Adire. So I use some registered Adire Leko pattern. They have their own meaning. So then I use embroidery and embroidery. Then I like to couple this pattern into my embroidery. So when you look at my embroidery and you look at my uh, line linear painting as well, you will see that there is a relationship between them. Like this one, you will see that there is line, then there is this adrenaline pattern that is all over. If you look at this one, there is adrenaline that is all over them. So that's my, like, my signature.
of their works on display are masked and proud, rendered in acrylic and charcoal on canvas. Um, a lot more people want to do Afro beats, Afro pop music. And I think that um, in recent times, more black people are now proud of being black. The painting right here has a mask on. I mean, the mask belongs to us, the African people, basically. Especially with the choice of mask that I've chosen to use here. So basically, this is just celebrating the black people. This is who I am. I'm proud to be this. I'm going to do this when I'd rather go for the Western way of dressing or Western music more. Um, this is who I am, and I'm proud to own it. Tribute to Eden II, done with oil and canvas, Giliadun III, created with diptych thread on linen, to problem nudie finish with acrylic on canvas and a balloon series, amongst many others. about what's happening in their world reflects in the works of art exhibited. The use of balloon in my artwork, balloons are temporary, but even while they are temporary, um, they connote celebration, they connote um, enjoyment, you know. Um, I'm simply saying, yes, your, your, your joy may be temporary for a moment, or your, that thing that has brought you happiness may be temporary. And if you check some of the other pieces, I try to explore um, how um, social media is the basis for the happiness for a lot of people now. You know, you find a guy with a strong face, he's really not happy, but he's holding on to a balloon that seems happy. So basically, I'm just trying to pass a message of um, this is what it is. This, is. this is the world we live in right now. You know, we should not allow all of these things to define who we are genuinely. So, yeah. This one is, uh, the title is, The One Who Returned Was Made Whole. It's actually one of the story in the Bible about the ten leopard that when Jesus healed them, he asked them to go and show themselves to the priest. And as we are going, one of them see that he's made, like he's clean. Then he turned back immediately to say to thank to appreciate Jesus the healer. So I'm trying to tell, let us know that when somebody or something somebody give you something or they do they do you a favor, they may inside their mind they are expecting you to say thank you. They may not say it out. If Jesus can be expecting them to say thank you, what about just normal human being like us? So no matter how small something is, even if somebody promised you one million era and he gave you ten thousand era. Make sure you thank that person. Don't say, ah, he promised me one million naira. Why is he giving me 10,000 naira? When he give me the remaining nine, I will thank him. Just, you know, that's I'm going to make that. Just make sure that you have acts of attitude. And when you appreciate somebody, they will do more. Toromade's forte is paintings. He has 11 of them here, while Badru is revealing his favorite one. Toromade's forte is paintings. He has 11 of them here, while Badru is revealing eight works rendered in embroidery and other high-tech media showing the dexterity that can come from the art school at the Obafemi Awolowo University, Ilefe in Oshun State. Now, the works of art you sent in capture a lot of issues happening in the society. Let's take a look at some of them. And these are the works of art you sent in this week.
Shepang Jian has this one titled Real Eyes Realize Real Lies. It's done with acrylic on stretched canvas. Then peace of mind is what Olu Samson is wishing everyone with this oil and acrylic on canvas piece. Even as the sun goes down is a work by Emily done with acrylic on canvas. Ade Toro Adebayo has Unforeseen, a digital art painting. David is saying, this is Africa, done with acrylic and fabric on canvas. Lost in the Rhythm is a mixed media work done by Light Ghana Ghana. Then Waiting is Ajay's acrylic on canvas work. He says a couple of months old and she still waits to find a new home. In this mixed media work is saying you can buy happiness with Lucas Kumba. Then School Friends is an oil on canvas piece done by James. Son of the Soil is a charcoal pencil on needlepoint work done by Taiwo or Dejimi. And that concludes the works of art you sent in this week. We appreciate you for sending them in and always encourage you to keep them coming. Coming up on Art House, we have our art quote for you and another two-man show. So join us again. The creative process of an artwork is more important than the finished product. Shagu and Benga Adeku decide to exhibit together at this exhibition in Terra Culture Gallery, Lagos. Father and son show the strength of family ties in Orila Finju, an exhibition by two generations, Shegwan Gwenga Adeku, at the Terra Culture Gallery in Lagos. Today's exhibition uh, is in line with Terracultural's theme and Terracultural's goal to always push boundaries and bring you something new, something different, uh, and something ingenious. And as such, uh, today we have a duo exhibition, meaning uh, two artists, a father and son. So it's a sentimental kind of exhibition. It's called um, Ori Lafinju. And uh, it is a combination of contemporary art and uh, of the skills and craftsmanship of a master. My works are print makings and paintings. Um, they have to do with what brings life, love, 
interest or something, something that can actually uh, make people happy, you know, by that, get to the best of uh, human endeavor. So that's what I try to work on. So you could see all around faces, faces that show happiness. I try to look at the better side of life. says that the mind can choose to create what is value and what is valueless. And why is that important is you only throw away what is valueless, right? If it is valuable, you would keep it. So I, I, the oral affinity to me means that a, a man can choose to give plastic value. A man can choose to give what people call waste so much value that no, it no longer stays in the environment. And because now that he has value, the environment is neater because that man created an essence for that work. Shebwa Deku is the father and Gwinga Deku is the son. The son uh, makes works uh, from recycled plastics, uh, socially conscious, environmentally conscious art. And then um, the father deals more in uh, expressionism, uh, art that talks about emotions, talks about feelings, and talks about how uh, being a master of our emotions and feelings uh, makes us a more rounded individual in society. So it's a very brilliant and a very interesting combination of art. With a filial affection on display, the audience can feel the bond these creatives share through the images which are being showcased. Almost 50 years or more, I have been working on what is the meaning of life. It's just like my work here, which I call Death of a Young Plant. It's about human environment that is not positive, you know. Something I call death of a young plant is something about things that are not working well, and I try to show it. So the, the young plant that is being eaten by grasshopper and uh, the effect on the people when the farm products are eaten by locusts or something like that, and it brings sovereign. So that I call death of a young plant and you could see that the people are really very sad but then i move to the other side of life which means smiles putting your best get results in almost everything that we do in marriage and uh, professional works almost everything in life you know you really need to put the opt optimistic side of life into it Love, happiness, and joy exudes from each of the pieces, from the subject to the titles. When you are looking at the printmaking, you could see life through love, through you, like just this one that you are looking. It has to do with what is the meaning of life, openness, but it has to do with power to be able to move forward in almost everything that one does academically or otherwise. For Shegwandeku, he's saying that your mind can decide whether you are happy or not, um, and that your happiness can actually affect others. If you walk into an office space and you're smiling, everybody becomes elated, and then productivity is better that way. But then if you walk there sad, it affects everybody else. And also, sad things can be happening around you, and you can decide to be happy. That's what his work is saying. Why my work is saying that um, we humans were the one who decided that plastic is waste. I actually don't believe it's waste. I believe it's a very premium art material because if I have an art material that could, that could last over 400 years in a very bad condition, what if I have it indoor, like under my air conditioning or my wall where no weather is touching it? It could take thousands of years, right? So it's actually a premium material. So I'm telling us that we could rethink how we use plastic 
or the value that plastics themselves have. And that way, we would have a cleaner environment. Relationships are a big part of our cultural values, and these artists have shown how the mind of man births joy through the traditional and contemporary images in this exhibition hall. And for what to expect the next time you tune in, take a look. Still to come on Art House. We visit the studio of contemporary artist Oliver Nwomu in Lagos where he's hard at work. Then we enjoy the works of art displayed at the maiden exhibition of the Raleigh Art Gallery in Lagos. We encourage you to keep liking, sharing and viewing our page so more people can enjoy the ever bubbly and ingenious art scene in the country. Your art house experience doesn't have to end when the show is not on television. Interact with us on our various social media platforms. See any edition of Art House on our website or YouTube page. Join our very interactive Facebook page by joining the group on Art House on Channels. We're everywhere. That's the program today. Thank you so much for watching. And do you know you can relieve this moment by going to any of our social media platforms, like, view, and share the program so more people can enjoy the beauty of the arts. And I remember that our last wordsmith by Ahmad Costa-Stair, titled The Sailors. A lot of people sending me messages on our different social media platforms. So keep them coming. I'm Melinda Kilami. I encourage you to stay safe and keep being creative.